I am Pedro Roberto Jacobi, full professor of the Institute of Energy and Environment of the University of Sao Paulo and uh, president of the board of ICLE South America. Climate change is impacting more and more the life of cities in different ways, basically in terms of the access to water, but also related to the conditions of, uh, to the living conditions of the population that is uh, worst off. I mean the population that is more vulnerable. Uh, in Brazil we have different type of situations and in the city of Sao Paulo uh, the most vulnerable people are, are, have been uh, very affected by floods and also by landsliding and uh, besides that climate change impacts in terms of the uh, scarceness of water sources due to the lack of rain like the, the situation we lived in between 2014 and 2015 in metropolitan Sao Paulo. The experiences have to be uh, coordinated, articulated between municipalities but also in a strong dialogue with society. It's very important to have transparency in terms of the situations created, for example, due to the scarceness of water. And the, the, the sharing of experiences has to be looked always in terms of what uh, the better practices can bring up as an innovation and as a way to think a different process of urban planning, of mobility, of the greening of the cities, and obviously in terms of the quality of water and sanitation. The South-South cooperation has to be strengthened. It's very relevant to bring up the good experiences so many other cities can share these uh, opportunities. So uh, we live in reality where there is a very strong vulnerability for part of the population. And this implies that we have to be able to overcome, to reduce the vulnerabilities through different practices that engage population in more cooperative practices, social learning, training, capacity building, and obviously also through organizations like, for example, ICLE, who has been sharing its agenda between uh, the cities, the regions uh, of the South.